If you plan on playing Yu-Gi-Oh! whether casually or competitively in any way, shape, or form in the upcoming format, then this is a video you're definitely going to want to watch. What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I wanted to bring to you a video discussing how you guys can prepare for the upcoming ban list. Now, the reason I wanted to discuss this is because this past week, I think it took some of us by surprise that we had the OCG October 2017 ban list released. Now I know that doesn't really have much of an impact on our particular format, but typically when we're kind of around that time here in the TCG that we're expecting a ban list to come out, usually we get the OCG ban list first and then the TCG ban list follows not too far after. So essentially I want you guys to take this video more of a warning more than anything because if you're planning on playing the game in any capacity this is going to be very important because this is essentially a buyer's paradise right now when it comes to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Some of the card prices if you've looked recently on the market are some of the cheapest that they've ever possibly been and the reason for that is quite simple a lot of people are paranoid that a card or a specific deck or a specific archetype may be hit on the upcoming ban list so they don't want the value of their cards to decrease so essentially it's causing an influx in supply and there isn't really a lot of demand right now because a lot of people don't want to pick up these cards for that very reason for the potential that they might get hit However, the very interesting thing about that is, is that it means that it's now a buyer's paradise and cards are at their cheapest and some of them at their lowest bottom prices that they've ever been at. And I want to start with an example like Dragonic Diagram. If you look up the current market price of Dragonic Diagram, you can pick up Dragonic Diagram for about $25 a copy. Now, I know for some of you that may sound expensive, but you're looking at a card that not too long ago was about 60 to 70, and at its height, it was a $90 card because of how powerful the card is. The card also doesn't have any other reprintings other than its unlimited printing from Maximum Crisis, and it isn't really expected that there's going to be a reprint of Dragonic Diagram anytime soon. So, Essentially because of the card's raw power, and we've seen in the OCG that for their last format, it was actually limited to one copy, and on the most recent ban list, it was actually banned entirely, because that just goes to show how powerful the card actually is. Now, the interesting thing about this is, hypothetically, let's say we get our ban list, and... Oh, look, Dragonic Diagram actually is still at two copies. Well, what would actually happen is that say goodbye to $25 fucking Dragonic Diagrams because that card is going to skyrocket in price because there's going to be a huge influx in demand for the card and not a lot of supply. People are going to be buying out the card in mass and you're probably going to see Dragonic Diagram go up to like $50 or $60 again because it's still at two. If it's at one, I wouldn't really expect the price of the card to, it might go up a little bit, but it's probably going to hover around the range that it's currently at, just because at one, it doesn't really have as much value being compared to if it were at three. So this is kind of a thing that, you know, if you're wanting to play a specific deck that might utilize Dragonic Diagram, whether it's True Dracos or Dinosaurs or any other deck that might utilize the card, if you think that it might not get hit or you're willing to put out some money, that's not a terrible investment because worst case scenario, you're going to be out some money, but if you really want to play that deck and you want to be ahead of the curve, you can actually have your copies ahead of time, and then if it does get, if it does spike, and the, essentially the demand is just going through the roof, you're going, you're going to be prepared, and you're not going to be punished like the other people that are waiting, so your investment will ultimately pay off. It's obviously a bit of a risk, more so of a risk compared to a lot of other cards you could potentially invest in, but but it is something that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention and something that you should keep in mind. Another, I would say probably a more safer example would be something like dinosaurs. Now, dinosaurs have seen a ton of competitive success in the OCG and also on this most recent ban list for October for the OCG had a lot of their cards hit. They had Overraptor hit, Fossil Dig, uh, Baby Sarasaurus. They had a lot of their power cards hit. But the thing is, the OCG might not necessarily reflect the TCG 
especially because the OCG is ahead of us by a couple sets, and they're at this point two formats ahead of us, so maybe the TCGs can have the opportunity to play dinosaurs in a full power environment. So the thing is, if you don't already have your dinosaur cards, but you're wanting to play the deck, the deck is actually incredibly cheap. But the thing is, if the deck manages to go unscathed on the upcoming ban list, it might not be the case anymore that you're going to see, you know, $1 over Raptors or all these other cards that are incredibly cheap. Now, I know there's an exception with stuff like Jurak Aolo and Denglong, but you might even see those cards exponentially increase in price as a result of the fact that people might perceive dinosaurs to be the best deck of the format, so they're going to quickly just start to accumulate their copies of the cards necessary. The vendors might start buying the cards out entirely, but you'll be prepared because you would have gotten everything when it's at its cheapest value because there isn't a lot of demand for it, and quite frankly, there's probably a lot of supply for it because people are trying to unload it so they don't get burned by the ban list. So, again, if there's any deck that you're wanting to play that you might consider to be an extremely powerful contender going into the next format, and you think it has a very high chance that it might pretty much go untouched by the next ban list, you might want to pick up those cards now. Again, look at another archetype like Invoked. Macabas are down to like $20 right now, and Invocations are maybe like $20 to $25, I believe. So that's another instance where if Invoked goes completely untouched, even though it was hit on the current OCG ban list that they're getting in October, that's a really good opportunity because if Invoked goes untouched, those Invocations and those Macabas are going to go back up and they may even double in price. I think the perfect exemplar of this is looking at Spirals. Spirals got the double Helix in the OCG and now you see Spirals is a tier one contender as it currently stands. Double Helix is one of the most expensive cards the OCG has had in a very long time. And you see here in the TCG, the prices are reflecting that hype. Super Agents are now sitting at $20 a copy. Super Rare copies of Quick Fix are sitting around 8 to 10 The hype for the deck is absolutely real. But if you would have invested in the deck previously, before Double Helix was announced or before the results from the OCG came in, you could have gotten your copies of Super Agent for maybe like $10. You could have gotten your Super Quick Fixes for maybe a couple bucks at the most. You know, you could have gotten your machine duplications like ultimate rare for probably half if maybe not a third of the price before the hype settled in because we didn't know what to expect and the fact that spiral was completely untouched on the ocg's ban list and a lot of people are anticipating that the strength of the deck is going to carry it to be a tier one contender in the meta that's why you now see here in the tcg people are having to pay a premium for spiral cards if they didn't already get them Foolish Burial Goods isn't even a spiral card, but because it's played in the spiral deck, we've now seen that the Mega Tin copies went from like one to two dollars a copy, now up to like four to five, and then the original copies are now sitting at like eight to ten dollars each. So again, I'm just wanting to pretty much preempt you guys that if there is a deck that you're considering playing, especially when it comes to the competitive meta, and you think there's a very good chance for whatever reason you may believe that that deck has a chance of surviving this upcoming ban list, you want to invest in that deck now so you're not having having to pay a premium after the list hits and after everyone is pretty much flooding the market demanding these cards and jacking up the prices to just completely exorbitant rates because they're hungry to get these cards because everyone wants to have that advantage and stay ahead of the curve and not want to pay a premium. But so this is just my video to pretty much allow you to be ahead of those people and pretty much take that chance. Now obviously what you do with your money is up to you. I just wanted to make this video to give you guys the chance that if you want to save some money and if you want to play some good decks, this is definitely the time to buy them because I haven't seen some of these cards on the market for this cheap in quite a long time. And that's what Banless Season does. Banless Season just drives down the prices of so many cards because there's so much paranoia and speculation that it really is such an opportunity that if you have some extra money lying around, you can pick up the cards and really take take a minimal risk in terms of investing and have it pay off for you in dividends if your deck or the specific cards you purchased managed to survive
5, the ban list. But guys, that's really it for today's video. I just kind of wanted to give that to you because the ban list is probably going to be coming next week. I, I honestly anticipate that it's going to because now that we've had the OCG list, the TCG list is just really not too far off. So I wanted to make this video before that list comes out so that if you guys have anything you want to purchase, go to eBay, go to TCG Player, hell, go to your locals this weekend and try to pick up the cards you want now for cheap so that you have the opportunity to get them now and stay ahead of the curve. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video helpful, consider backing me on Patreon because just by pledging only $1 a month, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.